Greetings tubal cons and tubal cats. Uh, I thought I'd give you all a heads up on what's going on and make sure to dispel the rumors that I have passed the scrape. There's a new acquisition. I like the patina on it. It's got a cool camouflage color but it may be for somebody else. I haven't been able to finish the one I got in the garage yet. There's the old army truck. It's supposed to be leaving. And uh, let's see, still got the Studebaker. Let me see if I can do something fancy. Studebaker. The door's open because I got to adjust it. It hits the fender. So, once that is, I can close the fender and ignore it like I do everything else. So. Let's see. There's the dusty trusty. And there's the one out of the, the 60s that's maybe changing hands. My dad's old Lincoln for parts. My beautiful Saab, Saab Saab, built by a company that makes jets, jet airplanes. That's as much as far from a jet airplane as a turtle to a giraffe. But that's just me. My things in there asleep. Uh, TR6 is out here wrapped up, hiding, and everything else. I had a tree fall. And like anything in Arkansas, it just fell by inches, and it took it about a month to completely lay over. Slow as it was. Of course, it was pretty hot, so it, I don't blame it for falling slow. But it bent some of this other stuff. But anyway, I got some room to stuff a car to there once I clean up this metal. Uh, the X interceptor has a power steering problem. Uh, sometimes it has it and sometimes it don't. And not having power steering is, well, it's even worse than not having power steering because it locks up. And that's, that's a little bit discerning when, when you go... I don't know how many years they made this thing, but it's uh, it's one of them. <laughs> Seeing the shovel makes me report something sad and, and terrible. Uh, my sweet little dog Shirley Jean. She died, but I give her the best I could. Held her, held her in my arms, and petted her, and loved on her. And she's been to every vet in in uh, Central Arkansas, but they, nobody could save her. So she's gone kind of tremble a little bit thinking about her but I, nothing lasts forever and it's always something uh, let's go in here and see what's in here got the 51 back in here is this little or this big this is little okay I can never tell 
Same camera I've had for 10 years and I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, here's a good, the better of the two hoods between this 51 Ford and the one out there I just showed you. This one was on it. And uh, outside of it being pretty rusty, it's better, a better hood. So that's going to be cleaned down, resurfaced, and repurposed on the old flathead on the 51. I wonder if I told you about the getting the windshield put in. I don't know. It, it, it took them, I think, eight windshields to get it as close as they got it here, the glass company. And they still didn't know how to put the stainless in it. So they crammed it together with no stainless. And the center bars, the holes to the center bars open to the world so it can rain through them. But I'll probably take it out and put it back in. I should have done that in the first place, but I didn't want to. It's really hard on your hands putting in glass and stuff. As you probably know, but you take it apart, you take it out of here, get your rubber, which I bought new rubber. No, I didn't. Uh, uh, Dave, Big Dave bought me that rubber, by golly. Uh, the Swamp Man, Gazer Boy, and... Uh, you put the glass in the rubber on both sides and the stainless in both sides and then you put the whole mess in the car as one unit and uh, I don't think they knew what they were doing of course they're modern they're kids and they're modern they put glass in modern cars which is you just squirt some glue and lay them on there but anyway they did, you can't, you can't uh, scold them for not knowing something, because it ain't their fault. This here, maybe I've already showed you this, this here is a 32 Roadster. Believe it or don't, it's a fiberglass. Got two girl shells and a hood thingy. And that's about the thing of it. Getting some tires and wheels ready for it. When I should be working on this. But I think it'd be pretty cool. Tooling around in it. There are tons of stuff I need. But I'll get it a little at a time. That's how the cat eat the grindstone, one lick at a time. And uh, Mr. Heavy Chevy's bench and my bench and some others have got the, the stuff on it. Very, very busy. And uh, that, that's good. I've been sanding. It don't show, but I've been sanding on the top. I'm going to paint the top first, since it's going to be white. And then I'll paint the body sides and the body, that metallic blue that's in the, on the dash back over there. That metallic blue. So... That will happen someday, either by me or by some other empathy. Uh, well, I think we'll go out here and I'll show you something else. This might be a clue.
this got done from our machine shop the other day. And the only paint I had was this high heat red. So I guess it's high heat red. Unless I decide to get some more paint. But I got this back from the machine shop. They buried it and done all sorts of cool stuff. It's got hard seats, hardened seats in it. And been bored 30, 30 thousand. And uh, let me see if this is what I'm thinking it is. Up here, it's, I got all this storage and nothing is stored. These are Ford pistons, I hope. Huzzah! Look at that. Ain't that pretty, don't that nice? They're flat tops, so they should they should go good with the Hey, they even fit. They may fit too, too loose. I don't know. Oh, there they go. Anyway, I got to got to mess with the rods. Rebush, probably re. I don't know if I rebush them or not. These are all new wrist pins. And some other stuff. I was thinking about putting, let me sit down here for just a minute. Uh, I was thinking about putting one of them big lumpy cams on it. But they're $390 for cam and lifters. Uh, hopefully it was a cam and lifters. I didn't really pay attention to what came with it. So they're comparable or more than a modern engine. Yeah. But anyway, that's a lot of money just for a bump stick. And the cam I pulled out of it is, is good. And the lift gels are good. I don't know. Y'all may have to school me on that. What was I just going to do? Where are you? Where art thou? Here's, here's part of that head bolt I had to dig out. It had to go that big just to get it out of there. But then I I uh, tapped her back, and it's happy. Is it raining? No, it's the road grader. That's a sure sign of rain, though, when you see a road grader here, because they always grade the roads right before rain. I don't know if that makes the road better, or what? I'll try to put that back in there. Anyway, I can't find it. There it is. This, you see, is a common old wheat penny. It has to be a wheat penny because they've got, they're a different size than our pennies, and they're a different composition. They're made of different stuff. And uh, let me get back down here again. Old man has to sit. And uh, exhaust on this intake comes up, I mean on this block, comes up through here, both sides, and warms your carburetor. 
like a, a heat riser would do in a modern vehicle. But that somehow that changes the pulse of the exhaust and you put a penny in here. It's supposed to fit really tight. And that clogs up the exhaust. Put that on both sides. And that clogs up the exhaust so it changes the note or the tune that your exhaust plays on these things. I don't know if I can tell the difference or not, but that was the old timey thing that I learned. Some people know it, some people don't. I didn't know it. All I've ever done with these is tune on them when they're running and tear them down when they're broke. I never built one up like this. So it'll be a, a fun thing to do. And I can do it sitting down usually. Uh, let's see. I bought, I've got a, a four speed out of a, I think it's a Cougar Eliminator of all things. A modern, a modern transcription. And these are supposed to have some kind of a old timey transmission. Since it's old timey. And I bought this. Let me just set it up here. It's what they call a hog's head. It's heavier than a hog's head. But it bolts on back yarn and it adapts a modern transmission to it. Which I'll probably have to do some drilling to make make it fit the the top loader four speed I got for this. But it goes back here. Kind of like that. So that's the plan of that. Needless to say, it's, it has some weight to it. <sighs> and that's the big thing that's going on. That, and I got to get this exployer done. Uh, I think I give $250 for this thing. And Marianne, God bless her heart, she uh, give me the money to fix the transmission in it. So that was done, and man, it was a good rig. It looks like warmed over dog dookie, but it was a good rig, and since I can't sit down real good, a client crawl down. I can get in this thing. I can just open the door and set set inside. And it's easy to get in that in and out of when you can't do stuff. And it has got it is set and got mold all over it. Unhealthy mold, I'm sure. But little Hiawatha just dances either way, either way. So if I can get the steering going, I'll uh, put this back in service. Hey, that looks like my door windows. Hang on, you guys may have showed me something. Oh, you clothes, you rascal. But my dad's got two limousines, Cadillac and a Lincoln, and neither one's got as much added 
accessories in this old Eddie Bauer looking thing. And Steve Rains. Yeah, these are my door glasses for the 51. I will put them to good use. I forgot where they was. I was looking everywhere. And what is this? That's a new, another, excuse me, another power stand pump. And a gun thing. Empty. But I don't know. I bet. Now well, it's got a movie thing that whoops down here and and you can watch a movie or your kids can. Right now it's what it's uh playing run Snoopy run. But and it probably will from now on because I can't get the C D out of it. Or the D V R well I don't know what it is. So uh, that's the saga of this. Never seen an, never seen a Taurus X till I got that one. So move that Volkswagen from out of there so I can cut that tree. And I, my neighbor cut the tree. I just stood around and looked foolish. It touched the building a little bit, didn't hurt it much. And so everything is doing good. Uh, let me say this to y'all. Okay. I'm fixing to say sorry not you to you. And, uh, you know, I love y'all. And I'm praying for everybody. And, uh, well, I've been doing lots of praying when Shirley Jean was sick and dying. And uh, something about more your morbidity makes you look to the Father for help. And that and that's a comforting thing, but it shouldn't be just when you go through something like that or when you need help with something like that uh, you can get help every day or you can get uh, uh, just a conversation out for something later or uh, uh, ask for uh, direction sometimes I have questions that nobody can answer but the father can and uh, it's funny how he answers. Uh, he answers every prayer. I was when I was a kid. I'm thinking, well, that prayer is not going to be answered. But he does. He doesn't do it. Usually, he doesn't do it right then. But uh, sometimes he does. And it's whatever he uh, answers is to our own benefit, whether we like it or not. Uh, he's looking out for us. So, uh, you know, why not? You can talk to him just like me and you. Uh, but anyway, there's a dirt dauber. But that's all I know today. I thought I'd show you the junk I've got surrounding me. I got more surrounding me, but... Uh, we'll just let it go for another time. And I'm sorry for not making as many videos as I used to. And I'm going to blame lots of stuff besides being lethargic and lazy and stuff like that. But uh, I still watch all your stuff, or as much stuff as I can. Uh, we're still having problem with our internet. And we will for right now on. I'll, now that all the leaves are growed out, we got like a little bitty spikes of, of uh, power that we can get, of signal power that we can get. So uh, that messes our phones, it messes our computers and, and everything else. But it'll be all right. 
So, y'all take care. And uh, if you want to see a good place to go and look as far as uh, this pandemic that's got us all tied up, uh, check out Dr. John Campbell's uh, videos on YouTube. Uh, he tells it straight and he's not affiliated with no political party or or medicines or nothing like that. And uh, he's just the best source that I found to get the right stuff, get the numbers right and what's coming on and what happened there and you know lots of inf good information. So check out his channel if you don't mind and uh, and that's it I guess that uh, you know I'm thinking of you know, I really do I what else have I got to do when I'm resting so I think of good things and happy times and that's with y'all that's uh, some of my best times is spent either watching y'all or being with you all uh, you know talking talking on the phone had a really good phone call this morning or this evening I get my nights and days mixed up because that's about the time my medicine kicks in and it knocks me down so, anyway, uh, love everybody because it's lots easier to love them than it is to hate them. Easier on you, and it doesn't matter to them because if they're mean to you, uh, they're mean to you. But be, be good to yourself first. And who knows, if you show them some love, uh, That'll stump them up. Sometimes they'll fall and and figure out that you're you're not a bad guy anyway, and you'll they'll start loving you. And uh, that's all the advice I can give you, and and uh, probably not very good knowing me. But anyway, y'all take care. And uh, beware of this virus stuff. And because it's real stuff. Uh, what is that in my camera? Oh, okay. It's an ugly old man. Okay. Uh, Saranachi, everybody. And uh, have a wonderful day. And a wonderful 4th of July. I've got to go buy some flags and hang them out and uh, show my patriotism which I have a lot uh, and uh, we'll do that okay all right bye bye everybody well the door is open how do I get the buttons with the doors open I'll just turn it, I'll just uh, unplug the battery again. I can always do that. Uh, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I've had this camera for 10 years and here's a button. I'll, I'll hold this button in.